Good morning and welcome to this week's video. So for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a small baby beanie like this. This is actually knitted, but I thought I'd show you how to crochet. So all you need for today's uh, project is um, your selected yarn. I've chosen this um, baby sparkle yarn from James Brett. Um, and you need your selected hook. I have a size 4 today um, because that will achieve the gauge that I want. A darning needle to darn in your ends, a couple of stitch markers to keep your place and of course some needle, uh, some scissors. Right, so let's get going. So the um, size that I'm going to be showing you today is a 0 to 3. Um, to start off, let's just move this out of the way, we'll use our small ball of wool today. To start off you need to chain 33. So let's start that, okay. So you, to do this you need to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, yarn over your fingers, hook through, pull the yarn and just tight, uh, make a loose knot. So let's chain 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oops, 21, 31, 32, 33. Okay, so there you have your chain of 33. Now, the way in which this beanie is made is you are making um, rows of half trebles and really it's, it's a one row repeat. So once you get to know the first row, it is really, really simple. So the, the way in which we work our um, rows is this way and then at the end we simply stitch the side together and then stitch the top together so I'll show you that later on so first of all we need to start making our first um, row of half trebles so to do this you need to chain one yarn over your hook and we're going to insert 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 our hook into the second post uh, stitch post for, from the uh, hook. So insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. Okay, and now at this point it's really important to insert a stitch marker in your first um, stitch just because I find it really um, important to do this because when you're making a hat or something where you want, want like a straight edge on it it's important to know where you're finishing and where you're starting right so yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through okay so I'll show you again yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over all through all three so there you have three stitches yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through okay so continue along your chain and meet me back at the end
Right, so we're back at the end. So um, I hope you can see here that we've got one, two, three, four stitches left. Okay, so we're going to put our hook into that yarn, into the stitch, and do your half trebles to the end. Okay, now at the next row, it's really important to remember to only work in your back posts. So I will show you how to do this, um, but that's what um, kind of makes that kind of ribbed um, beanie kind of effect. Okay, so into the last stitch and do your half treble. Okay, so you can see you've got your first row of trebles here. Let me just check you can see it properly. Yep, you've got your half, your first row of half trebles. So chain one and turn your work, okay? So now we're going to be putting our yarn over our hook and we're going to be working in these back stitches only. So you can see here, we're going into the back stitches. It looks a bit um, strange to start off with because you only get one loop on the hook rather than the two. So just work into those back stitches. Um, and pop a stitch marker, whoops a daisy, pop a stitch marker in that first stitch just to keep your place, okay? So again, yarn over and just into this back loop, so just the back loop only, okay? And half treble, so yarn over, back loop only, and yarn over and pull through, okay? So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Yarn over, yarn over the hook and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so continue along again and I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, so we're getting towards the end again. So carry on with your half trebles to the very end. And as you can see by this so far, that it is just literally a row repeat. So you always must make sure that you go into the back loop when you're doing your half trebles on every single row from now. Okay, so always in those back trebles. Okay, so we've found our stitch marker so make the last treble there okay and then remove that and now chain one turn your work yarn over and again into those back loops okay so now I think you get the the gist of things so if you carry on all the way along with the half trebles um, I did forget to say just shortly um, that your height of your row should be around six to seven inches. Um, so you've obviously covering the length of your your hat here. And it also gives you a bit of um, space to turn up your hat at the end. Um, you should carry on crocheting until your hat is about six to seven inches uh, lengthways um, or however you know big your baby's head is if obviously your baby's with you um, but I think about seven eight inches 
um, width wise on the, the hats so okay so I uh, will meet you back in a minute when we've done the rows to the length that you desire so around seven eight inches see you in a moment okay so I'm now back with the um, desired uh, length that I needed so for, for mine for this purpose is bear with me a second it is eight inches okay so all we need to do now is finish the row which I'm going to show you how to finish off your row so again it is just trebles um, in every stitch in your back loop to finish so let's go across the row until we've finished all the way along until you find your last loop which is there and then you finish that off so when you've done your last half treble you then need to chain one um, give yourself a good length of yarn because that's what you're going to be um, stitching your hat together with and snip off and then all you need to do simply is just pull the yarn oops daisy without knotting it up like me pull the yarn through and give it a little a tug okay so let me just check you can see me yes right so from now on all we need to do is to um, fold it over, okay, It'll go this way actually I think, okay so there's your hat and all we're going to do now is stitch the edges together. Now I just pop a stitch marker in generally to hold the edges together so you get another one. Just to hold the edges together, so it just makes it easy for you. And simply grab yourself a darning needle, pop your yarn through, and then just start to stitch the edges together. Now the way I do this is just to pop your needle through the back loops and then just literally gently pull it together to start. And then as we go on, I just pull a little bit on it to tighten it up. So carry on doing this and I'll meet you at the end of the hat. Okay, so we've nearly got to the top. Um, I, I, if you'd noticed, I just kept giving it a quick pull to make sure it was nice and tight. So just finish off the top. Oops. I'm trying to stitch a stitch marker in now. So just remove the stitch marker from the top of the hat. Now, at this point, I don't um, snip this off. I'll show you how to do the hat top now so to stitch this together all you need to do is to get your yarn let's go through one more I think actually up the top here all we need to do is weave in between the stitches try and be as um, precise as you can it's not important though it doesn't really matter but it's just neat I think um, Okay, and then gently pull your yarn through. Oops. Okay. Oh, 
all the way through. What's happened here? Okay. I'll give it a little pull. So I could do one more stitch in there. Okay, and then give your hat a little tug to gather it together. And then all I do, and this is per personal preference, should I say, sorry, is um, I just run a few stitches along the top of this just to secure it really. And um, it makes it a little bit neater and tidy. It can be a bit fiddly, so just hang in there. Try not to pull too hard that you're um, pulling your yarn off, though. Times I've done this and snapped the yarn. That's it. Okay. One last thing, and then I, all I do to secure it is just make a knot with your yarn. I'll do that a couple of times. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Okay. And then make a knot. Like so. And then just snip off your yarn. That way, because you've done it that way, you've got no tail ends to um, sew in. Okay, so we can turn the beanie the right way around. And there you have it. So just give it a bit of a fiddle with until it's uh, the right shape that you like. Um, and I can make a pom-pom for the top. I've got a pom-pom maker. Um, or you could just leave it as it is. And um, this one obviously has got a little pom pom. Um, yeah, so there you go. So your newborn, oh, it's not to three months this pattern is. But all you do simply if you want to make one for a grown up is just to make it higher and longer. So you could measure around their heads and see, um, you know, how big their head is um, and go from there really. So. This pattern can be adapted to um, what you like. I am going to make the pom-pom. Let me just go and grab my pom-pom maker. Okay, so I've got my Clover um, pom-pom maker. I have got a tutorial on my um, video list if you want to see this being used properly. I'll quickly make one for you today. So with these, you simply just wrap the yarn around the, um, oh, you know, I can't think what to call them, around these green bits, I say that, <laughs> um, to make some room. So all you do really is attach your yarn around. It's a bit fiddly to start off with once you get going and then just keep going round it's a bit boring this bit but keep going around and around um the thicker you want your pom-pom the bigger to make it really so as much as the yarn as you can get on the better so let's carry on going and um, i'll meet you when i've done both sides Right, so we've nearly finished this side. Let's do 
even it up a little bit. Okay, that will do. So all we do from here is snip off the remaining yarn, close it together. And then you need some strong scissors for this. So I use the kitchen ones for this one because um, they seem to snip through it a lot easier than my other ones. So I've gone for quite a small pom-pom for today's little hat. Um, if you wind your yarn around lots and lots and lots, you can get a really thick and luxurious um, pom-pom. But uh, I think this one needs a little one. And this is the smallest pom-pom maker I've got. So uh, we'll have a go with that. And then you snip off a piece of yarn. Now be careful when you're doing this bit because if you pull a bit too hard, you can end up snapping your yarn and... Uh, having to do it all over again so all you need to do really here is to secure your pom-pom make sure it's going in between the green just gently pull but obviously you have to you have to be tight as well because you need to make sure it's secure and then with another one oh like that okay so and then i just release the green sides and whoop, there's your pom-pom so let's get rid of these and then simply hold your pom-pom by the strings that you just made and give it a bit of a fluff fluff it up and then just give it a trim it's uh, just started to rain so I do apologize if you can hear that it's not um, very nice the last couple of days, but uh, hopefully it'll brighten up. I hope you're all doing okay during the second lockdown in the UK, if you're from the UK. Um, we're hopefully due to come out for Christmas so we can all see our loved ones. It uh, has been a bit of a testing year, hasn't it? But uh, as long as we're all safe and well, that's all that matters. Okay, so that's as neat as I'm going to get it for today. So, and then all you do with this is just literally pop your... Uh, I can't get my words out today. <laughs> yarn through your pom-pom. And then just thread it through the top of your hat. Pull it gently through. And then I would usually make it more secure, but uh, just for today's purposes, I'll give it a knot. Um, but I would normally run the um, yarn through a bit more. I'll uh, tuck them inside and I can weave them in a little while. So turn up your little peak. And there you have it, your little baby beanie. Um, my friend's daughter's having a baby, I think, in March. So she's asked me to do a couple of beanies. So there's the first one for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, you can um, adjust this pattern to whatever size you like. Um, you just me literally measure the width that you'd like it. And then how long around, you know, for this circumference of the head. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you like what you see, give me a like. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like me to make, um, let me know. My numbers have started to grow on YouTube, which has really, really made me happy. So keep on liking, sharing, subscribing and um i'll see you for next week's video bye